in my last video, I talked about how some of the white-tailed deer was out there scraping, running, and engaging in all types of other behaviors. In this sequel, I'm going to describe some of the other things I saw them doing when I set my trail camera out up in them there woods. Rubbing. Deer are always trying to communicate with one another. Bucks rub their antlers on trees to let the other deer know that I done came through here. They actually have a gland in the forehead which helps them leave their scent behind. I guess it's like letting all the bucks and those in the area know that this is my neck of the woods. My trail camera recorded this footage in September 2021. A year later I set my camera up in roughly the same spot and a different buck stopped by. Well that's just downright disrespectful. Moving in on somebody's territory like that and trying to leave your scent behind. He better be glad the other buck's not around or else they might have to fight it out. Urinating. Deer spend a lot of time grazing, eating berries, and drinking water when they can find it. They also spend a lot of time urinating. They have something called tarsal glands which are located in the middle of their back legs. When they go to the bathroom, they rub the back legs together and urine gets on the glands. They call it rub urination. The smell of the tarsal glands helps the deer communicate with one another and carries information about the deer's health, breeding status, and other stuff. Cleaning. White-tailed deer give birth in the spring, usually between May and June. This fawn stepped right in front of my trail camera. My guess is that this fawn is only about two hours old, and in this clip, Mama Deer is simply cleaning up her new baby. She's cleaning up her new baby and doing the best she can to remove the blood and bodily fluids so a predator can't smell her. Trailing Grunt Bucks spend a lot of time chasing those during the mating season, also known as rut. Sometimes when a buck is in hot pursuit, he'll make something called a trailing grunt. See if you can hear it in these next two clips. Avoidance. Deer spend a lot of time trying to avoid people and predators, but the deer in this clip has something else to worry about, an old pesky raccoon. She can probably tell something's wrong with this guy just by looking at his tail. This deer is probably thinking, hmm, maybe this raccoon has rabies. Maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Or maybe he's just plain loco. In any event, I need to avoid this creature. It's around 8.30 at night, and this deer has worked hard all day and decided to go to bed early. He found himself a nice comfortable spot in a secluded section of the woods, but before he could even get five minutes of shut-eye, two crazy raccoons showed up. Somebody called pest control, because the raccoons in them there woods are out of control. Sparring Deer began sparring between mid-August and early September. Sparring usually isn't that serious around that time, but you can best believe that that all changes during rut as the deer try to establish a hierarchy. The larger males are at the top of this hierarchy. After them comes the adult females and then the younger deer. In some ways, sparring reminds me of my childhood where the boys on the playground would challenge each other to see who was the best fighter. Fighting. Fighting is a last resort when the deer can't resolve things any other way. Deer fight over territory or to gain access to the females. These two appear to be evenly matched and neither one wants to give up. This battle took place around noon on December 23rd, 2020. A 
A fight like this could last for a few minutes or up to an hour. This one lasted for about five whole minutes. Other deer stopped by to watch the fight. They want to see who the win is going to be. I can just imagine one deer saying to another, Hey Bob, are we going to have a new king? Or is the old man going to win again this time? A fight like this could lead to serious injury or even death. Sometimes deer get their antlers locked when they're fighting. When that happens, they can die from starvation or a predator like a coyote might stop by and try to eat them. Sometimes a third buck will stop by and mate with a doe while the other bucks are fighting over her. The educated folks call this opportunistic mating. Well, I say it's just one deer being slack. It's like a buck saying, yeah, y'all keep right on fighting over there. And while y'all doing that, I'm going to mosey on up to this girl, whisper in her ear, and see if I can arrange to pay her a visit at her apartment later on this evening. That girl don't want neither one of y'all. She wants me. One deer eventually runs the other deer off. The battle is over. I can only wonder if the challenger won this time or if the champion retained his title. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. You can also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I provided links to those websites in the description below.